Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Elizabeth. This is The Joyful Sojourn and today we are going to be flipping through three new sticker books from Mojo Jojo Plans. Um, I'm not going to do any decorating but I did grab some various types of paper. This is classic sized paper. I've just got some lined paper. I have a daily page and then kind of a week at a glance paper. We're going to play around with boxes and what I oops, shapes in these and just see how everything fits. So let's get into it. These are the three newest sticker books from Mojo Jojo Plans. They release on September, oh, what day? Friday, September 6th at 10 a.m. Central Time. And they will be available on the Mojo Dojo Plans website, which I will link down in the description box. If this video is helpful for you and you wanna to continue to support my channel, which allows me to continue to put out these videos, then consider using that affiliate link and Joyful 10 will save you 10% off of your purchase over at Mojo Jojo Plans. In addition to these guys coming out, there is going to be a restock on a bunch of boxes as well. Um, blue boxes and more, pink boxes and more, black boxes and more, I highly recommend that one. That is a staple if you buy anything. If you can only buy one sticker book from Mojo Jojo Plans, get the black boxes and more. It is the most used sticker book that I have for functional boxes, it's this one. It's got dating stickers at the back, it's got functional stickers, and then it's got both like journaling boxes and um, just blank boxes on the inside. Most grabbed for sure. So that book is restocking. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh, this sticker book is huge. This is a 60 page sticker book. So it is going to be more expensive, but it's going to last you a long time. Um, so we've got autumn shapes, we have autumn boxes, and autumn boxes 2.0. So this originally, I think came out last year, um, but it's been revamped. So um, things have changed a little bit from the old autumn boxes to the new autumn boxes. And then there's this guy, this new version has a new page that wasn't included in the OG, and there's foiled colors. The original versions of these have been discontinued, so this is the new um, version. And I can, for those of you that want a comparison, hold on, let me check my, uh, my collection. I am curious to see if, if I have the autumn boxes to do a comparison. Not that I can easily grab. Well, wait, is that, no, that's scalloped boxes. No, is that one? Nope, summer. Nope. I don't have a comparison for you guys for these ones, but we'll do, we'll compare them uh, across each other because they are, they look similar on the outside. I'm guessing these colors align with what is on the inside. So looks like we've got more kind of greens, maybe some lighter colors here. And then this is more moody with those browns and oranges. So we'll do a flip through of those. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else? So lots of restocks. And yeah, these are available now. So let's get into it. Let's start with, um, I'm gonna keep Autumn Boxes 2.0 near and let's go with this first Autumn Boxes. And these will be fairly quick flip throughs because they're gonna follow a very similar pattern. So the first sheet has stickers that are going to fit a classic kind of vertical planner. And we have two tones here. I'm hoping that my camera is picking up the difference, but we have a really dark burgundy and then a slightly uh, lighter, maybe more maroon color on this page. So we've got two tones here. And again, it's the same two colors, but when we flip it over, she swapped colors in the double vertical and then the triple vertical here so that you're getting them both colors in both sizes. Okay, then we're moving to our smaller, more like header and appointment size boxes in those two colors. And then we have journaling boxes with that light gray line. It's gonna allow you to write things down more easily. Good for memory keeping. Then we have those same boxes without the lines. Ooh, I don't think this was in her original autumn boxes. We have checklists in two different sizes, bullets, 
to do remember and priority stickers a currently well three currently stickers and some flags this is definitely a different layout and i'm wondering if this is the new page that she has added to the autumn boxes sticker book so again i don't have that with me so if you've got that book in front of you and we're watching this together um check and see if this book is in the original autumn boxes then we have our oranges two different tones you can see those a little bit better here and I'm not a big orange person, but these I can like play with. They're a little bit dirtier, a little bit more muted, and I like that. So each set of colors is going to follow the same sheet pattern um, as we've seen from the previous. So, and then we get into this page. So we've got our checklist, bullets, um, currently to do remember and priority. And I like that she's giving us extra black ones as well. Now we're getting into the greens. One's more of an olive, the other is, I don't know, grass green. I know that sounds funny, but when I think of a grass green, that's what it looks like. A little bit of a yellow undertone maybe. I can see why these colors were chosen for fall. Definitely more brooding, I guess you could say. More cozy, put me under a blanket green. Here's our currently page. Then we get into some really pretty browns. I don't know how brown can be pretty, but these look pretty to me. <laughs> get all of our sheets in those two tones. Our journaling boxes. Those bigger boxes without the journaling lines. Our currently page. Ooh, and then we have some fun bonus fall sticker sheets combination of red or excuse me orange black and purple for Halloween that's a fun set to throw in here and this is following the same sheet pattern journaling boxes big boxes and then the currently ah, so that is autumn boxes this is the um, update revamped of the original autumn boxes so let's take a look at Autumn Boxes 2.0 and see how it's different. They both have 895 stickers. Okay. Bam. Look at that. So we have foil, but wait, guys. Can you guys see? Man, I hope so. Pay attention to the black. Man, I hope that's getting picked up. I can't tell if it is on camera, but... It's like black holographic shine. Wow, that's really pretty. How did she do that? Wow, it's a, like a black hollow. That's actually rad. Love that. So we know that wasn't in Autumn Boxes, um, the original one. So you're going to get the whole collection of the ones we saw in the back, basically, but in a foiled version. So if you're a foiled fan, then just get this one because this one's going to be better. This is following the same pattern with our journaling boxes. And then, oh man, you guys, I've never seen anything like that on that black metallic. What? Has she done that before? I mean, I have sticker books that are foiled from her. I don't think the black had that finish before. This is pretty. <gasps> she Okay, so this, this sticker book has like color collections. What's nice about this is it takes all the guesswork out. So with this sticker book, if you're kind of a purist and you keep your tones kind of all together in each spread, this is going to be the one for you. But if you like to explore like multiple colors, but you don't necessarily want to have to like figure out which ones work well together, this is already done for you. So these three colors are like grouped together because they look good together. I see it. I'm curious, let me go to, and actually if we compare the browns and yellows, cause y'all know I'm a, I like to be thorough. These are different colors than are in the autumn the first autumn sticker book. So you could get both and the colors are going to be totally different. Let me go to the greens 
and see if the greens. This is a lighter green than this green, but they are very close. So the greens are pretty similar. Wow. Ooh. Okay, so we've got half foil on this one. The orange is like a, um, kind of like a coppery, I mean, more orange than copper. And then the kind of khaki color is not foiled. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if that's a print thing or if it's supposed to be like that, but I actually like it. Whatever is happening here, I really like that. That's what she should do on some future sticker books is change up the, uh, do some like ombre boxes or something. That would be rad. So here's our foil. Currently page with foil. Ooh, those are pretty. That's a fun way to do Halloween. If you're like not a Halloween person, but you want just like a nod, this purple and green is a good option. No foil on these ones. I like this combo. I think that's really nice. And your functional stickers. Ooh, that's fun. That's really fun. It doesn't scream uh, fall to me, but I guess it could be if you wanted like a kid's party in the fall or like um, if you're having like a fun kid's Halloween party, something like that. I could see brighter colors. And then there it is. Um, there's a currently page. Okay, these are totally different. I was not sure like what to expect from these two, but they're totally different. Um, you might want to get both, or you might just be like, I'm not a for uh, I'm not a foil girl, and just stick with the uh, standard autumn boxes. If you want the foil and the pre pre paired up um, trio of colors, then the autumn boxes 2.0 is going to be the one for you. So how did this all get combined into a 60 sheet book that is Autumn Shapes? I don't know, but we're going to find out right now. 60 pages, guys. Ugh. Okay, um, and I will add that if Black Boxes and More is my all-time favorite. Oh, maybe I should choose the Functional Series 1. Functional Series 1 Black is maybe my, in my top five. The original shapes sticker book, maybe the jewel tone shapes or just the original shapes. No, I'm going to say jewel tone shapes. Um, definitely in my top five as well. There's something about shape stickers for me for functional boxes that are just so good. Right off the bat, this colorway is going to be the same as the, let me grab autumn boxes, the original autumn boxes. These colors are going to be the same. Okay, so be interesting to see. I wonder if this will be shapes in a combination of colors from both boxes. We'll see. So we've got different sizes of circles. Half of these have the journaling lines. I love a hexagon circle, or excuse me, hexagon sheet. 100% here for all of this. Love these. Then we get into half circles, hearts, and diamonds all in that first color collection. Ooh, flor uh, florals or scalloped circles. I don't know what you'd want to call those. Now we're into our reds and oranges. Let's go back to autumn boxes. And they're a little bit dirtier in the shapes sticker book. Colors are similar. You could put them on the same planner spread and they would probably match just fine, but they are slightly different, it looks like. So here's our next color collection. All the sheets are gonna be the same as the first set, just in these two colors. Love this so far. Now we're into the greens. I'm gonna go back to the autumn boxes. These greens. Again, same, maybe a little bit dirtier, but we'll match the autumn boxes sticker book um, pretty well. Hexagons in those, big hexagons. Oop, got a print smudge there, it's okay. Florals, ooh, okay, so these look like black. These are almost black. Let's go back and check. 
yeah, they're a little bit darker and cooler toned over here. But I will say, I think that these two sticker books are going to be complimentary. If you want regular boxes to go with your shapes. They are good for layering. Got the florals. Move this guy out of the way. Then we've got our Halloween color collection. Again, if you want traditional boxes, get the autumn boxes. If you want shapes, get the shapes book. Hexagons, love those. Okay, where do we go after this? Are we getting into foils after this? Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, the shapes book is a really good one because we're getting a combination of both both sticker books, both autumn sticker books, but with shapes. Because this color set was in autumn 2.0. <gasps> Pretty. I like these ones. Ooh, plus foil. Dang. Okay, so this is going to be the same, looks like the same as this set from 2.0. Man, they kind of all do work together. The first half of this sticker book was paired well with autumn boxes. And so far, this second set is autumn boxes 2.0, but in shapes. Fun! Yeah, I like that. I love the purple and green together, as I've already said. Then we have that fun, more kind of bright color. But wait, there's more. After this set, there's going to be more. What is it? More fun color combinations. Ooh! <laughs> the foil. And again, that black. Doing that holographic uh, vibes. Ooh, nice. So this is the same... Um, colors as we've seen in the 2.0, the front of the 2.0 box book, sticker book of boxes. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, friends. Yeah, these are pretty. Very pretty. All right, so that is Autumn Shapes. Wow. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed because... I see a reason and a purpose for all of these. And I have a lot of functional sticker books in my collection, but these colors are really pretty and the shapes are a yes please for me. Let's, um, man, what do we wanna play with? Kinda wanna play with the autumn shapes. So um, what should we do, friends? Here's a daily page. This is from the Happy Planner. Um, and man, where do we even start? Maybe autumn boxes. Let me just give you, let me give you a couple, couple uh, examples of, of how to use this guy. I um, don't have a planner ready to decorate right now. So y'all are getting, y'all are getting me on the fly. Okay, how would I decorate this thing? Even with the current leaves, that's kind of fun. Let me grab some tweezers. I wonder if I'm going to start with a burgundy, I think. Where is the long burgundy? Did we not get it? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, I'm gonna start with a long burgundy. I'm gonna have to use this after I, after I play with this. So let's say I don't want to do the self-care lines. I'm gonna throw this down right here and cover that up. And then, I think I want to go into my autumn shapes. We're just going to do like a little bit of like this and that, okay? 
little bit of this and that. I am a big, big fan of hexagons. So I'm gonna take some of these guys. Three, I always do clusters and whatnot in sets of three. Always odd numbers, friends. There's a little tip tip for you, a little tip, tip or two. Um, let's pick another color just to add. Let's introduce maybe some green. Should we introduce some green in here? Hope I don't regret this using these stickers. So I'm going to throw this guy here. And I always try to connect my flat edges. And then, and the thing with hexagons too, make sure that your spacing between each sticker is equal. Just like that. Okay, so we've got a little, little cluster there. And then I kind of want to, this is, let's say this is for, um, what I'm going to put up here is more for decorative purposes than functional. I want to continue. Anything I do in one place, I try to do it um, somewhere else just to keep it keep it consistent. So I'm gonna throw the green guy there. I'm gonna grab one of these half pieces. Um, and where should we put this guy? To put this right here just a little peek like so now you're gonna want like decorative elements this is just me um, using these functional stickers decoratively without introducing a whole other sticker book and what's cool about this is she's giving us these words and so you know we can go in here and grab the um, maybe we do memory here. Well, let's do the priority first. I'm going to change up the colors too. We're going to do priority here. And then we're going to do maybe remember here. And then let's do, I'm changing up the font because I think it looks cute and playful. I'm going into the burgundies to see, yep, yeah, we've got some burgundy guys here. So we did that font, that font, and I'm gonna grab this one just like that. All right, so, oh, and then if we just wanna add just some fun deco guys, and you are not a big bullets person, I'm not a big bullets person, I'm just gonna add some like dots, like confetti. I use these like polka dots all the time because I don't really use them functionally. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of random dot stickers and kind of spread them out. Do some like overlapping too. See, I'm like overlapping that so it seems more organic. Like they just kind of fell on the sheet. Um, oh wait, we wanna go to more of that kind of terracotta color. Is that this one? I think so. And I'm gonna grab something. right there and then the, one of these lighter guys we'll add kind of randomly there so here's one very basic like I just want this to be functional but a little bit cute uh, one easy way to do a daily page with just the stickers from these sticker books so there is a daily page um, let's do this guy. So this is just lined paper. And if you really are trying to explore like 
bullet journaling or like creating your own spreads, this is where I would get into all kinds of fun with um, the lined stickers in here. There's lined hexagons and and by the way, like if you wanted this to be more decorative, you could easily have laid florals down here and then the flowers would be popping out. Same thing, you could put like a little bit of flowers up here just to add something. But I mean, these actually work decoratively um, if you place them well. So let's say you wanted to do a DIY spread, okay? Let's do a DIY um Maybe just the weekly. So this is one of my favorite fillers from the Happy Planner. It's got Monday through Sunday, and then it's got a to-do list and notes and doodle space. But let's say you didn't have that and you wanted to kind of create your own look. You could, should we go into, did we use autumn boxes? Yeah, move this guy out of the way. Uh, let's see. I've done this with hexagons, but I'm thinking we could just do some mixing and matching. Ooh, let's do, let's do this color combo, shall we? And my sweet spot is the hexagons. Should we stretch a little bit and do circles? Are we gonna have enough circles? I don't think we're gonna have enough circles unless we mix and match. Let's, mi let's mix and match and see if we can get them all to fit. So, yes, this paper is already lined, but just for kicks, let's just use stickers instead. So, we need seven spots, or we can do six and have the weekend be combined. Um, we could also, if we know that there's not a lot going on on a specific day, we could use smaller circles. So I'm going to do, let's say Monday's really busy. Um, oof. Do I want to change the shapes? I think that would be too much. Let's stick with the circles. I'm going to go with, no, I feel like they need to all be big. We're just going to mix um, lined and not lined. This is going to be a bit of a... Um, an interesting layout so we've got those and it looks kind of psychedelic because there's lines and then we're adding lines kind of at an angle but bear with me friends I do think it's gonna look cool we could go into this guy because we did have that color combination at the end right we did were there lined ones there were so we could do like Monday, Tuesday, hmm. Wednesday. I think we're going to be able to fit fit everything together. Let's throw one here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Let's see. Let's go with... I feel like we need a lined black. Did I already use the... Oh, maybe there wasn't a vertical black one that had lines on it. Is that true? That can't be right. Maybe it is true. Hmm. I guess we can do one with outlines. Go with this guy. And I'm gonna put this one this way. And then, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And you can, you know, reorder it however you want. And then, Let's see, we could do some dating with these guys. Hmm. Let's go there. Let's see. I'm 
trying to change up these colors. It's kind of hard to alternate. Let's do purple on that one. And orange on that one. And black on that one. And let's say we use the, or this could be memory keeping. Let's use the remember sticker here. And I could take, I wonder if I've got a, a white gel pen somewhere. So let's see, this is the, let's say this is Monday and it's the second. I'm just making this up. And then this is Tuesday and it's the third. Wednesday, it's the 4th, Thursday, it's the 5th, Friday, it's the 6th, Saturday, it's the 7th, and Sunday is the 8th. I know this is probably going to be better seen if you're using a weekly planner, but I don't have a weekly planner today, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm just trying to share with you some other ways that you can use these stickers, um, even if you're not using a weekly planner. So this is an easy way to create either your own weekly or let's say you want to do some journaling, like writing one line a day and you want to specially insert in your planner. You can use stickers to create your own boxes. So have this be kind of like a starting reference for other things that you might want to do. Maybe you've got a shopping list for each day or maybe you have a party coming up and there's things you need to do each day or you're having uh, a contractor come out to remodel your bathroom and so there are things you need to do to prepare for um, that remodel. Maybe you need to clear things out or you need to clean or you need the pest control guy to come out. Um, you know, you can log those things here. So um, just one idea for how to use these boxes in an open space. And then, of course, if you've got daily planning pages, this is more of a creative idea for um, adding some structure, but also a little whimsy with functional shapes. Um, I think that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. I have these sticker books now, so I will use them in future planning videos, but I wanted to make sure I didn't just do a flip through. I wanted to make sure you guys could see that there are um, fun ways that you can use sticker books like this. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, and make sure if you decide to shop, use the affiliate link down in the description box. Joyful 10 will save you 10% off of everything over at Mojo Jojo Plans. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is the Joyful Sojourn. And if you want to hang out with me again, sure hope that you do, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.